Hey guys, Jacob Thompson here with Bushnell. Today I'm going to walk you through the setup of the Cellucor 20 solar uh, trail camera. So if you've set up a Cellucor 20 or any of our other devices, this one's going to be very, very similar. Um, in the box, you're going to get a Cellucor 20 solar with the solar panel attached, a power cord for the solar panel, an antenna, a mounting strap, and a user manual. Uh, the first thing we always recommend that you do is add the camera to your account prior to doing anything else. If you um, have an application, have the application already, you know how to do that. If not, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play, download the Bushnell Trail Camera app and create an account. Uh, once you're in the app, click on the Add Camera button, um, click Scan QR Code, and then you're gonna wanna scan the QR code located on the inside door of the camera right here. Once the camera is recognized by the application, it's going to prompt you to sign up for a data plan. We give you the first 30 days free. It'll ask you to sign up for either an unlimited plan or a standard plan after that. And then the camera is set up and ready to go in your app. Now that we have the camera set up in the app, you're ready to set up the hardware portion. The unique part about this one is the attached solar panel. To get that operational, you're going to need to back out this thumb screw, remove the panel and remove the blocker that keeps the contacts from being on. And you'll reattach the solar panel, tighten the thumb screw, and the solar panel portion will be ready to go. The solar panel does come pre-charged, uh, so it should be ready to operate. From there, you're gonna wanna load 12 AA batteries into the detached battery tray. It comes out of the bottom of the camera with this eject button right here, making sure to uh, assign the correct polarity to the batteries. You're also going to want to insert a SD card up to 32 gigabyte. We always recommend class 10. Um, it inserts right here with this orientation. Once you've got the batteries in the SD card in, go ahead and attach your antenna. And your hardware is set up and ready to go to the field. Your camera does come with an external power cord. What that allows you to do is remove the panel and connect it using the power cord. This allows you to set the panel in a different direction than the camera if your um, camera, that way you don't have to face your camera into the sun, but yet your panel can still get full charge. It is not required that this is attached. It is optional. Um, as long as the panel is attached to the camera, it will charge the camera. Uh, it just allows you to position it separately. Once this is set up, you're ready to go to the tree. Once you've got your Cellucor 20 solar mounted to the tree, you're ready to flip it on, power on the on switch. You'll see the camera status lights go and the signal bars will start to move. Your Cellucor 20 solar is a dual SIM, meaning it will automatically connect to the strongest network, either AT&T or Verizon. No need for you to make any changes there. You'll notice the camera searching for signal. Once it locks in on signal strength, you'll see the camera status lights both go green and your camera's ready to go. Just close your panel, close your door, latch it, and you should get a test image from your camera of yourself walking around in front of the camera in your app and you're set up and ready to go uh, and start enjoying your Cellucor 20 solar. So regarding the solar panel, we get a lot of questions about it. Uh, the panel does contain rechargeable batteries itself Depending on the lighting conditions, how much direct sun you're getting and how much power consumption you're using in your camera, uh, it will change the amount that it extends your battery life. But either way, the more time in the field with your current set of batteries, it's a plus. Uh, so the solar is a great option for high use areas and areas with, uh, with a lot of sunlight.